The first 911 Turbo was a real sensation in the 70s. And with each new generation, we are taking it one step further. Make it sharper in design, faster and more efficient. Beginning with power, 650 PS, that's 70 PS more than the generation before. Yeah. It sprints from 0 to 100 km per hour in only 2.7 seconds and uh, at the end uh, a top speed of 330 km per hour. Well, the turbo is definitely the biggest challenge we have in, in R&D to improve this product. What we did, we, did we do this time? Um, number one, more power. That's always important for a turbo. 70 horses more, something you can feel. We widened a little bit the body in the typical Porsche 911 turbo style and uh, we improved aerodynamics. Um, you can see it here, uh, this typical wide rear fender of the 911 Turbo with the air inlet a little bit in the front. Um, we have two new options. Uh, one is a sport exhaust that gives this flavor and tone of the 911 uh, Turbo a little bit more to you, to the driver. Uh, we have a new sport chassis, uh, lowers it by 10 mil and uh, gives you a firmer ride. Um, very cool option. And then the aerodynamics. You can see here um, these adjustable flaps in the front where we control the airstream through the car. We have a wider wing again. Um, wider wing means more downforce, um, but the wing is a little bit lighter, so also engineering effort behind that. And we can use it as an air brake. For us, it's very important that innovation and tradition always comes together. In this case of the turbo, uh, we introduce a nice leather package um, with turbo stitching. Um, that is a uh, tribute to the 930, our very first turbo back in 1974. Mm -hmm. I must be honest, Frank, I bought one of these cars a long time ago and it's been my daily for a long time. So I want to ask, is it Gran Turismo or is it actually a, a, an out-and-out out, you know, sports uncom uncompromising machine? Um, simple answer, it's a 911 Turbo. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so means. I think it's driving machine more than ever before. Um, but. This, this very important part of it, this day-to-day -day usability, and this is a core discussion in R&D. Every, every uh, test day, every meeting we're discussing, is this appropriate for a turbo? Must it be more sporty? Day-to-day -day usability, uh, luggage size, all these yeah. things we are discussing. If you're doing a GT3, it's clear this is racetrack, uncompromisingly. A 911 turbo to keep this, this nice balance between um, these, these two um, special characteristics of a 911 Turbo, that's the real challenge. I think we always nail it and do a good job. You've seen some fast race cars, Frank. You've seen some really, really quick street cars. Personally for you, what is the real highlight, I suppose, for, for this new product? I, I think that we really could keep this balance and uh, the accessibility of this car, of the, of the power, it's 650 horses for a Turbo S. Um, it's really easy to use it, and you have this day-to-day -day usability, so it's a real 911 Turbo S. The Turbo is part of our DNA. It embodies the core brand values of Porsche. Dynamics, power output and speed. And it is a real all-rounder, perfectly balancing performance and everyday usability. That's always a big challenge during development. The product strategy matches our brand profile and core competencies. It is sporty, flexible and sustainable. Therefore, we focus on emotive combustion engines, dynamic plug-in hybrids and innovative electric sports cars. With electric cars and hybrids, we avoid local emissions. Their share of market will continue to grow. By 2025, half of all new Porsche cars will be electrified. At the same time, we are optimizing our petrol engines. With each new generation, they are becoming more efficient. This also applies to sports cars such as the Turbo S. So, ladies and gentlemen, Porsche is taking responsibility for society and the environment. At the same time, we are driving dreams from the racetrack to the road. This is what Porsche makes unique and also a really cool brand. Thank you.